625 this morning, February is Black History Month, and 41 Action News is highlighting the importance of black culture and history in the Kansas City area. Did you know, in the mid-1800s, many people who were enslaved came through Kansas and Missouri on their way to freedom? It was part of what was called the Underground Railroad, which was made up of a series of secret safe houses for slaves as they made their way south to the north. Here's 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plague. There's a lot of history out here in Quindaro, and uh, that's what I really want people to know about. Luther Smith's collection of artifacts, pictures, and stories reveal an important snapshot of black history in Kansas. Well, and he's proud to tell you all about him as director of the Quindaro Underground Railroad Museum. These are some of the routes that, <clears throat> that the slaves took, you know, trying to get to freedom. Quindaro was an underground railroad stop along the Missouri River. There was a little circle here going right through Kansas. The Quindaro area of KCK was originally home to the Wyandotte Native American tribe. It used to be a small town established as a free state port of entry in 1856 where enslaved people could reclaim their freedom. Just across the river in Missouri, which was not a free state, many people made eager plans to reach this gateway. Well, it actually was like a little city, and it only lasted from uh, 1857 to 1862 when the Civil War started. Some folks stuck around and built houses, hotels, a post office, a hospital, and a historically black college in 1865, Freedman University, which later became Western University. The college closed in 1944, and only this cornerstone is left. You can still see some of the remains of the town at the Quindaro Ruin site. We'd like to get a lot of that, uh, you know, uncovered and make a, a beautiful uh, historical site out of this place. I mean, that's what I want to do anyway. Luther's museum is housed in the old Vernon Elementary School on 27th Street, where he proudly shows photos of the students and their families. This school went from uh, first grade to eighth grade. He thinks about what their lives might have been like. That's my father right there. And their legacy is what motivates him to do more for the museum. It's just history. Yeah, it's just history. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. Wow, Sarah, thank you. The museum is designated as a historical site in Kansas. Smith would love to get more funding for much needed renovations and turn it into a Quindaro Visitor Center. The museum has reduced its hours due to COVID-19, but Smith says he'd be happy to show people around.